13 Sins in 2014. A cryptic phone call sets off a dangerous game of risks for Elliot, a down-on-his-luck salesman. The game promises increasing rewards for completing 13 tasks, each more sinister than the last. Here's a clip from the trailer. Check it out. Hunter. Hello? Congratulations. You have been selected to take part in a one-of-a-kind game show. All you have to do is complete 13 challenges. Swat the fly. You're watching me now? $1,000 will be instantly credited to your bank account. That's it? You have $90,000 in debt. You can't honestly even provide for your fiancé. We will make all of your problems go away. Please press 1. Each one is more complicated than the first. Are you ready? Elliot, what's going on? Mr. Vogler, I'm with the police. There's a maniac out there. Running wild. Should we start tallying the charges? No, I didn't do this. I didn't do any. So there's two of you out there? So there's another player? I need to change the rules. You're gonna make me say freeze. You think this is a game? This is not swatting flies anymore. Some contestants think they can walk away. There's only one way. If you fail to complete a challenge, you will lose everything. Thirteen is the end. You see, that's the true objective of the game. To show that anyone can be turned into... Directed by Daniel Stamm, written by David Burke and Daniel Stamm. Released April 11, 2014. Tagline, you don't play the game, it plays you. Here's the cast. Mark Webber as Elliot. Devon Gray as Michael. Tom Bauer as Father. Rutina Wesley as Shelby. Ron Perlman as Chilcote. Pruitt Taylor Vince as Vogler. Clyde Jones as Jerry, Deneen Tyler as Joyce, and Richie Montgomery as apartment manager, and the cast goes on. Here is a very surprising film. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I have never heard of it, but I can tell you this. It's a well put together film. Well shot, well acted, great storyline. This movie really impressed me. It did. It's about a guy named Elliot who gets this cryptid phone call. He is uh he has a handicapped brother, he has a lunatic father, he has a uh, a really he's down on his luck. He uh, loses his job. He has no money. He's getting married to Shelby. And he gets this cryptid phone call and every tasks that you complete you get money but each one gets more sinister than the last there's some crazy shit in here that what he had to do and it makes you think would you do it anyways there's a twist in this film I wasn't expecting it it's a pretty entertaining twist and there's a second twist at the end of the film that really made this film very impressive Ron Perlman played uh, a police detective named uh, Chilcote. Um, everyone knows who he is from the days of Beauty and the Beast TV series and a lot of other great projects. A great job by Mark Webber as Elliot. It's just a really well put together film that this guy had 
complete 13 tests. If he does it, he's rich. But the shit that he has to do is unbelievable. They're sins. As it says, 13 sins. He's breaking a law. He's doing some weird shit. And it really gets out of hand. But again, well put together film. I really enjoyed this. If you have not seen this film, 13 Sins in 2014, I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised. Because I was. And I've seen a lot of films. But this one takes the cake. I really dug it. All way to the very end. Is This movie keeps you watching. Just watching. Trying to figure out who's doing this, what he has to do next, and what happens next will blow you away. Enough said. This is Grissom Herzog. I give this film a 9 out of 10. I really dug this film. 13 Sins in 2014. This is Grissom Herzog, and I'm out of here.